can you relate with the feeling of enjoying something or eating something which you really like after a very long time if you can yes i have that feeling today because i'm making soya chap after 6 years hey you magical people welcome to salted sugar saga and today i'm making soya chap and i'm really excited to share this recipe with you all and for this delicious recipe first we need some spice combination so let's start with the whole spice mix for this we need one black cardamom 3 to 4 cloves 4 to 6 black peppercorns 2 green cardamom 2 bay leaf and 3 to 4 whole red chilies we need to dry roast them uh, for around 2 to 3 minutes now we gonna coarsely grind them and for this i'm using mortar paste if you want you can use your grinder for this job as well so we'll keep it aside and now let's combine our ground spices and for that we need some coriander powder red chili powder turmeric and cumin powder i have taken kashmiri red chili powder here and i prefer that only now we gonna chop our onions finely i won't recommend the onion paste for this recipe because it's it's not going to give a taste and texture we are looking for this recipe now we gonna puree the tomatoes with the help of a grater i'm using grater here because it's going to help us to remove its skin without even boiling it so now we have our skinless tomato puree Now heat around one fourth cup of oil on medium heat and add a finely chopped onion and saute them until they are translucent. Once they are translucent, we gonna add our whole spice mix and saute everything again. Once you achieve this color of onion, we gonna add ginger garlic paste. and saute it again we need to saute it until we get almost a brown color of a fried onion like this now it's time to add our tomato puree followed by tomato paste Tomato paste will give a nice color to our curry. Now mix everything well. And before it starts bubbling, we need to add our whisk yogurt. Whisk yogurt will make the curry rich and creamy. Because we are not adding any cream or milk here. Hey guys if you haven't please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified all the times So now when everything starts bubbling we're going to add our ground spice mix After saute it for a couple of minutes I'm going to add my gram flour or besan and again we'll saute it Guys if you do like my recipes please press the thumbs up button It's time to add salt to taste Now let the spices release oil meanwhile let's see our star ingredient soya cha I got this box from a local Indian grocer So the chops are in a brine. I can see some eight to ten pieces of soya chop, and this seems quite soft and nice. If you want, you can use the soya chops with the sticks, but I want a chunk size bites in my curry, so I'm removing the sticks with the help of a spoon, and I'm gonna cut them in chunks.
and now we're gonna add all those chunks in our curry and let it cook for another couple of minutes guys if you haven't do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified all the times it's time to give our final charge so we're gonna add some dry fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi The curry is looking so delicious and so amazing. You can enjoy this curry with naan, fulkas. I can eat this with anything. Seriously. We'll garnish it with the cilantro. Until next time, keep watching Salt and Sugar Saga. Stay healthy, eat healthy. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.